Oh, please don't. Um, max pot, max pot. Thank you. Right, I would very much like to sharpen now. If you just leave me alone, please, you giant moose. Thank you. Hey everybody and welcome back to LTV Plays Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I'm excited to get back into this. I meant to record this so much sooner. I've had a little bit of teething problems with the uh, the old Elgato and my PC. I, I don't know exactly what the issue was, but it seems to have ironed itself out a little bit now with just a few tweaks and just modifying a few things on the laptop, removing a few things. Just trying to speed everything up a little bit. To be honest, I've tried switching HDMI cables and all sorts of all sorts of mindless garbage. But we finally got it to work at a reasonable pace again. I don't know what was going on. But anyway, we finally got back into it. Now, I meant to like I said, I meant to do this a lot sooner, so I have progressed quite a bit in the game because it, it was it was it was tempting. I wanted everything to be my first impression, but it was far too tempting to just to just not play it. Because, you know, it's monster hunter. I have to play it. So, for this video, we're going to go to the, the Guiding Lands. I've literally just unlocked this place. I haven't been there for long. I've hunted, like, two things there, I think. So, basically, this place is... You just explore what appears to be a mix-up of all of the different biomes or areas, maps, whatever you want to call them. It's just... a all of them sort of mashed together, or at least the the original few. So the forest area, the desert area, uh, the coral area, coral highlands, um, and the the rotten area, the rotten vale. It's just sort of like a collaboration, if you like, of all of those areas stuck together in some sort of some sort of messed up world collage, if you will. And another reason I'm doing this is because I kind of want to show off, show off uh, my longsword build that I've got at the moment, that I'm running at the minute. I like to make weird builds on this game. That, that's kind of my thing. Like, uh, back on Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, I think it was, I made a dual blade set that was specifically designed for knocking out monsters and... The dual blades aren't particularly good for knocking out monsters in most cases, but the particular setup that I'd got and the particular weapon that I'd got, it worked out really well. And this is a sort of a similar situation. This could be refined quite quite a lot. This could be tweaked significantly. But at the minute it's working relatively well. So we're going with a, a parallel a little a para parallel analysis. A paralysis. A para as as it's easier to say. We're going with a para weapon because para makes it easier to hit things in the head quite a lot. Uh, we have quick sheath, slugger, level 5 slugger, a lot of attack, um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. There's there's not much else. The other things I just threw in just because. Um, what shall we hunt? What do we have available? Don't really fancy the Palumu. Sitsiaku... Uh, Oh, we'll take this one. Seeing as this one's like right here, we'll take this one. The, uh, I can't even remember what it's called. I've only hunted like three of these. What, what's your name? Ban Barrow, that's the one. I do like this game, honest. I've, I've just really not really hunted many of those. Uh, I, want, I need some slinger ammo. Give me some slinger stuff. Where are your slinger stuff? So he's going that way. Any sort of slinger stuff would be wonderful. Oh, there we go. Some right there. Right in front of mine eyes. Oh, no, not the Sitsiaku again. Again? As well, rather. Don't detect me or anything. Just just leave. Now, this will probably roll me off straight away, as it always does. But then we'll just jump straight back on. Um, oh, I didn't really want to turn it that way. It's fine. It's fine. We'll do a full circle. We'll do a full circle. Maybe not, because it's not working now. Because I hit it too many times now and made it mad. I annoyed it. I'd get pretty annoyed as well if, if there was a, a little creature on my face trying to claw away at the side of my head. Like a little fly. Just really irritating. You just want to sort of swat, swat it away. So, like I said, I've not really fought many of these. I am relatively far in the game. Um... 
and I don't really know how this thing fights all that much because I've only fought a few. I didn't really need much from this, I didn't need the armor or anything like that, so I had no real reason to, to fight it very much. Oh. Oh, this thing's head's a little bit high though. Oh, never mind. That ought to do it. Pretty simple knockout right there. Wait, is that even knocked out? If it's not, then it will be soon. Sorry, I mean, I'm in concentration mode. I've completely forgot what I was saying, and I'm just in full concentration mode. Uh, the thorn pods will help with the knockouts quite a lot as well. But I don't want to use the thorn pods because I want to show off the build that I've got running, that I'm running at the minute. Because I really wouldn't expect to be able to get knockouts, like, reliably with a longsword. But with the addition of the the new counter-attack type move, I can't remember what it's... Well, it's not that I can't remember what it's called, it's that I can't pronounce what it's called. It's like, I I slash or something? I have no idea. Don't know how you pronounce it. It's spelled I A I slash. So, yeah, I will eventually learn how that is pronounced, but currently, no clue. Don't heal me, cat. Don't do it. I need some max pot anyway. Fine. Okay, I am not playing very well. Well, like I said previously, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but I really don't know how this thing fights. I haven't fought it enough to be confident with how it fights. Is that going to miss? No, it's not going to miss. It's a perfect shot. Lovely. Wonderful. Let's see if we can get another knockout. Should do quite easily this time, actually, because it's got the thorn pods on its face as well. Oh, saved by the kitty cat. Oh, no. I do not like this Paolumu. This Paolumu is... It, it is is horrifying. It is the worst creation known to man. It should not be a thing. And it needs to be exterminated. Or at least dung potted in the face. Eat, eat some poo. That's it, leave. Thank you for putting the thing to sleep, though. That's very nice of you. Because now I can sleep bomb. Right, I need to get this right, though. I don't want to mess this up. Or oh, we could mess it up and aim in the complete wrong direction. You just put your sword away. Try again. That'll do it. So that broke the other horn and knocked it out again. We like a good knockout. So I'm not filling up my uh, spirit meter very much, which is kind of disappointing. I kind of need that fall to do more damage. But, you know, it's fine. It's not a race. We're not we're not in this to, to kill things fast. I'm not a speedrunner. I never claim to be a speedrunner. I just enjoy playing the game. I'm not even very good at the game. But I do enjoy playing it. It is a lot of fun. And I intend to be doing a lot more videos on this because I enjoy playing it so much. And even though I have progressed so far, I will still make the time to record or stream Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Um, yeah, I will still make the time to record or stream this game just because I enjoy playing it as much as I do. It is a game that I really love. A series that I really love. I've loved it ever since I first started playing it back in Monster Hunter 2. If you are watching this and you haven't played Monster Hunter before, it's probably unlikely because if you've come here, you've probably come here because you search for Monster Hunter or something similar to that effect, maybe from somebody else's channel, somebody else's videos, I don't know. But if by some miraculous chance you're here because you haven't played the game before, I highly recommend it to anybody that is even remotely interested in any sort of roleplay game or any sort of just action, hack and slash type game. It fills all of those categories so nicely and it, it just does it so well. If, if I think about it really hard as to which Monster Hunter was my favourite, I'd probably have to say it was 3 Ultimate. 
and there's really struggled to be a game that's held up to this the level of enjoyment that I got out of 3 Ultimate until this one. This one is very quickly getting there. Since the addition of Iceborne, anyway. Prior to Iceborne, I actually didn't like this, this game very much. Because I, I felt that it was lacking in content. Uh, all the new features and everything are great. I love I love the new the new graphic style, the new engine that it's all running on and everything. And just the new feel to everything, all the changes they made with all the weapons, apart from the sword and shield. Don't like what they've done with the sword and shield. The whole being able to turn around mid-combo thing, it just baffles the mind. I cannot I cannot fathom how to do it. So but that's my problem, that's not the game's problem. But everything else that they have changed in this generation of Monster Hunter games, I absolutely love. But the game, in terms of content, before this DLC, was to be desired. It was lacking very much. And I just found myself towards late game just farming the same monster repeatedly because nothing else was really worth fighting. I had no reason to go back and fight anything else. And it, it just got very repetitive and very samey. Whereas this has a lot more content to it. There's a lot more different monsters to fight, a lot of different equipment to get because of the different monsters to fight. Please don't kill me with that boulder! So all in all, it is a vast improvement over the previous installment. Oh, please don't. Um, max spot, max spot. Thank you. Right, I would very much like to sharpen now. If you just leave me alone, please, you giant moose. Thank you. Please allow your tail to be removed. I've completely lost track of what I was doing. I haven't been going for knockouts. I haven't even been targeting the head. To be fair, I've just been hitting it absolutely anywhere. But that's because I'm just sort of rambling on while I'm playing. It's kind of still a bit of a weird concept to me, just sort of sat here rambling to myself whilst playing the game. It just It's just odd. I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy doing it, I enjoy doing the videos, it's just a bit surreal to be sat in an empty room just sort of talking into a microphone. But I'm talking about things that I really enjoy, so it's, it's all good. It's just hard to concentrate on my insane ramblings of absolutely nothing most of the time, uh, and actually playing the game at the same time. Please do not squash me with your giant antlers or log. I don't even know where you pulled that log from. There was nothing even remotely log... log-like in the vicinity. Okay, now I've nearly got the full spirit gauge. No, nearly got full spirit level, not gauge. The gauge has been full for a while. Ah, oh, and I've poisoned myself. Isn't that great? I mean, I have noticed that I'm using this grapple thing an awful lot. I don't know why I'm doing that, because it doesn't do anywhere near enough damage for what I want to be doing. Is it mad? Is the monster angry? If not, then it needs to hit a wall. It's not angry. Great. So then, if you would very kindly just run into that wall for me. Thanking you very much. Oh, and the tail came off in one hit. That's kind of a waste. It doesn't matter. So now the thorn pods are on there. If I do this attack, because this counts as a draw attack as well. So I do a lot of stun damage, plus the thorn pods do a lot of stun damage. And then I just have a little lie down for a quick nap. Because we accidentally walked into some sort of uh, sleepy toad deal that let off a spore. Come on, just quickly, just fall. Never mind. You didn't even have time to nap properly. You tried to nap. You shouldn't be sleeping on the job anyway. You should be killing the thing! I really wish I was good at this game. I, I really wish I was good at any game, to be honest. Out of all games that I play, though, I think I'm probably better at this. Which is not saying a lot for my uh, gameplay skills. 
because I'm not exactly playing very well at the minute. Considering this is um, uh, spoilers, well, I mean, you've seen enough spoilers in this video already up to now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But spoilers, this, this monster is really early on in the game. It's like, I think it's possibly the... Is it the first or second, maybe, large monster that you fight? So, considering it's from that early on in the game, and I'm doing this badly against it, doesn't really say a lot for how good I am at the game. But, I'm having fun. That's all that matters. All that matters is that we're having fun killing stuff. I mean, I guess even if we're not killing stuff, but there's significantly less fun if we're not killing stuff. There's not a hell, not a great deal to do in Monster Hunter if you're not killing things. Oh, my little cat dude's on a little dino dude. That would be another knockout. I can't see. Okay, this thing should be... Yeah, I was going to say, it should be at least feeling a little bit unwell by now. And now it's limping away. And again, if, if you haven't seen anything on Monster Hunter before, when you've dealt enough damage to the monster and broken whatever parts you need to break, but mainly the damage, and its health's low enough, it will limp away to its nesting area. I don't exactly know if the monsters in this area have a designated nesting area. They may do, they may not. I'm not 100% sure on that. Because, like I say, I haven't played this area all that much yet. Uh, where did it go? I am lost. Uh, can I... Can I not ride your Jagras? Fine. Oh, I've got a Giros. That's even better. Go, Giros! Find the thing! Ah, I love the Giros. So yeah, when I get lost, I generally just do this. And then the monster finds the thing for me. Also, it gives me a time to do things like sharpen my weapon, have a little go on my vape. Just just general things that I need to do throughout the day. I don't think you're going the right way. Also, you're not scared of that. Just, just move on. Stop. Don't moonwalk. Here we go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Forwards. That's what you're tracking? Why are you tracking that? No, open your map. Open the map. Open the map. Thank you. Where did the thing go? Why are we not tracking this? Go get us! Oh! If you set a marker, it... It goes so much faster! That was a hell of a jump! Giros, please never do that again. You can do it. You can carry my fat ass up that ledge. And rude awakening. Is there anything to bash its head on over here? Oh no, but we can send it off the ledge. And that's even better. Whee! <laughs> Sorry, that just looks ridiculous. <laughs> I've never sent one of these off of a ledge before. I've done it with other monsters. And that, that, was, that was amazing. It was just all legs. There's just legs everywhere. <laughs> I feel really bad for finding that so funny. Because I imagine real animals would probably fall in a similar sort of motion if they got launched off a ledge like that. So that kind of makes me feel bad. Because I can relate it to something in real life. Like, to a certain degree. But at the same time, that looked ridiculous. Oh, that was so fun. What... What are you doing over there? Did you just fall down? Why are you falling down? I did not even mean to do that. Radaban, no. Radaban, just... You stay over there. You do your thing. And we'll do ours. Or you could not. That's also cool. Doesn't matter. We win. Now, Redman, if you could kindly leave, that would also be good. For some reason, when I'm on this game, I can't stop running either. If I find myself scrolling for an item, I just run in a circle. 
I don't know why, I just do. I just find that I cannot put my analog stick in its neutral position. I have to be moving at all times. I think it's because I don't feel safe if I'm standing still. I, I always feel like something's about to kill me. Which, more often than not, something usually is about to kill me. So I guess that makes sense. Okay, well, sadly, we're only going to have time for this one hunt because I'm running really short on time. It took a lot of time to set up the recording software and everything. And I have places to go, people to see. I don't have people to see at all. I just need to pick up my, uh, my other half from work. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave this one here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like, comment, or subscribe for more videos on games that I play. And I will see you next time. Do a little wave. Do a little wave, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, I've gone past gestures. Sorry, don't do it. You're, make, you're making a fool of yourself. Where's wave? Where's where is it? This will do. Fine. Sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't find wave. It'll do.